good morning students today we'll be starting a new chapter we have uh, finished chapter 16 now we'll come back to chapter 15 the name of the chapter as you can see from the slide it is our environment now in this chapter we have some relation with the previous chapter and uh, in this chapter we'll first talk about different types of wastes now as you know human activities due to our activities there is a lot of waste being generated throughout the environment and uh, these wastes they cause pollution of different types pollution of water pollution of soil pollution of air if you classify the types of waste there are two types of wastes one is called as biodegradable waste the other is called as non biodegradable waste now when you hear the word biodegradable bio means life and degradable means which can be converted into some harmless substance please understand let us say any waste say the kitchen waste let us consider the example of kitchen waste kitchen waste is an example of biodegradable waste because the kitchen waste it is a complex substance but it is converted to a simple substance by microorganisms so that means any type of waste which is converted to a simple form by the microorganisms are called as or they are classified as biodegradable waste whether it is a plant product or an animal product all are biodegradable in nature you can see the definition here they are the wastes which are decomposed into harmless substances as i have just told you now they are converted into harmless substances they get mixed up in the environment they get mixed up in the soil everything is done by the microorganisms by the natural microorganisms of nature so these are the examples vegetable waste fruit waste uh, cloth waste leather paper animal dung all these are plant or animal products and they are converted into harmless substances by the natural microorganisms so that is the meaning of biodegradable waste we have another category of waste called as non biodegradable waste non biodegradable waste like polythene so these now if you take the example of polythene polythene does not get mixed up with the soil it does not get mixed up with the environment rather they cause pollution so non biodegradable waste are those waste which are not converted into simple form by microorganisms which are not decomposed into simple form by microorganisms those are non biodegradable waste so non biodegradable you can see the example plastic rubber polythene glass metals uh pesticide insecticides they are all chemical type of substances which do not get converted into simple form by microorganisms so those come under the category of non biodegradable waste so i have just now explained you how to categorize wastes one is biodegradable the other is non biodegradable now we'll go to another topic which is called as the ecosystem now in the ecosystem when we talk about the ecosystem ecosystem is association of all living organisms please understand ecosystem is the association of all living organisms with nature in the nature you have living organisms as well as non living organism living organisms like microorganisms like animals like plants those are all living organisms and non living organisms the sunlight water soil they are the non living components of nature so that means an ecosystem is formed by the association of the living component along with the non living component both of them together we will call it as the ecosystem 
So you can see the definition here. An ecosystem consists of all living organisms in an area along with the non-living components. Now, how the living organisms and the non-living organisms interact, that is an important part of the ecosystem. Like, the, there are some animals which live on the soil. So that is the interaction of the soil with the living organism. Some animals live on the trees. Interaction of that animal with the trees, that is an interaction. So those, there are some organisms which live in water. So interaction of that organism along with water is called as, it is a part of the ecosystem. So now there are two types of ecosystem basically you can see here. One is the natural ecosystem, the other is the artificial ecosystem. In the natural ecosystem, you have the forests, you have the deserts, you have the grasslands, you have the mountains, they are prepared by nature, we have not prepared them. So they come under the natural ecosystem. Ponds, lakes, etc., they all come under natural ecosystem. When you talk about the artificial ecosystem, like the gardens, the parks, the aquarium, the zoo, we have made them. It is a man-made ecosystem, therefore the ecosystem is called as an artificial ecosystem. 